The virtual touch instruments here in GarageBand iOS are super cool. They let you play the instrument just using your touch screen. But what if you're more familiar with a traditional keyboard layout? Well, can you use the keyboard to play your touch instruments? You can, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And if you've used GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad, you're probably familiar with our very cool touch instruments. So we've got strings, guitars, bass, and a bunch of world instruments that we can use just by touching the screen. So if I want to play a G chord, I can swipe on the screen. And if I go over into notes mode, I can play a guitar just as if I was putting my fingers on the fretboard of a guitar. Now it's very cool, but what if you're not familiar with the guitar at all, but you are more familiar with a keyboard? Well, there is no problem with that. We can use the keyboard to access these same instruments. So let's show you how to do that now. So in the top left corner, we're gonna tap on our instrument selection button there and let's slide all the way across to our keyboard. Now, instead of just tapping the keyboard, in the bottom right, we're gonna tap on more sounds. So this is gonna bring up our selector and you can see that I'm already in here, but let's just go back a step in case you just jump in here fresh. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that we have an other option here, as well as all of the rest of our keyboard sounds. And what do we have in other? Well, we have some very cool instruments. We have things like the flute, and clarinets and a whole bunch of others that we can actually use there that aren't available anywhere else. So there's an additional tip for you, but you'll also notice that we have strings. So we have pizzicato, staccato, and sustain strings. So they just mean, so pizzicato is like your, your plucked strings, staccato is a shorter string sound, and then your sustain, is gonna sound like that. So you can choose those. And then we have our erhu and our pipa. So these are our world instruments, so we can play these. We can play these ones right here as well. And then we have all of our guitars. So we can play our, our acoustic, our classic clean, or our hard rock guitars. Let's just choose hard rock and play a bit of a guitar solo. So if you, you I wouldn't be able to play that on a guitar, well, I may, but it, it, I would struggle with it, but I can play it using the keyboard. We can do the same thing if we grab an acoustic guitar, we're gonna play a guitar chord, we can just... We can play those just using the keyboard. So it's really convenient if you know how to use a keyboard, but you're perhaps not as familiar with the guitar. The same with the bass, and I use this. So let's grab the P bass. I use this to actually lay down my bass lines a lot more often because it's a lot simpler if you're, you're creating a bass line rather than actually being in the real bass. So if I want to go. And again, I'm not a great bass player, so I can actually play a lot better if I'm using the keyboard here. So that is a really super cool option. And we even have our upright and our guzang and our koto. So we've got a heap of options in here and we can use all of those touch instruments can be reselected here in our keyboard instruments and it can make it a heck of a lot easier to play our songs when we're just using our keyboard. So there you go. I hope you found this useful and that you can use this in a future GarageBand project. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can drop those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you'd like to check out any more videos, we've got two linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner. And man, this is much too hard to play and talk at the same time. Cheers.